You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. everybody doing on this you can do it Wednesdays you can do it Wednesdays I am so excited about today's show for all of y'all that is just tuning in this is Adion your dream pusher your lifeguard saving you from drowning in yourself saving you from drowning in the world and situations and just you know getting in your own way So today, this show is very special to me because for those who have already been following me, um, you already know from the beginning, I started this podcast from scratch. And if you've really been following me, you know, back in June when I did the live broadcasts on my my business Facebook page, um, going live for 30 day challenge, no matter what. And... Y'all know I had to get to this point. I told y'all, like, I totally just did this thing from scratch, and I didn't tell people, tell my loved ones, tell family, friends, maybe a couple, and that was that. And the reason being is because I wanted to start something different. I wanted, I knew that I was just learning who I was all over again, and I didn't want to do things the same way. And I didn't want to be connected to some of the same people. So I didn't do it on my other Facebook page, which I'm not really on anyway, <laughs> which I'm not really on this one too as much, but I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But, you know, I decided to invite everybody. And if I invited you, that's because, you know, I love you. And, um, I just want you to get some of this this stuff that I'm talking about and hopefully encourage you, motivate you to pursue your dreams because that's what this show is about. This show is for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. And I'm just here to motivate folk and encourage folk and to make everybody like look at themselves and stop pointing the finger at everybody else and own their own shit. You know what I mean? So on this podcast show, I have been so transparent that the people that I invited today, if you go back and you listen to the other episodes, this is my 32nd episode. If you count the intro, 33rd. But um, I just wanted to just do this and be consistent and see where it goes. And I'm getting such great feedback from it. And I finally really truly found my purpose everybody knows everybody that knows me knows that I've always been a dreamer know that I always go after my dreams wholeheartedly and um I just don't give up because that's not what we're here to do we're not put here to be quitters you know what I mean um and when God gives you talents and gifts you supposed to see where it takes you because you never know if it's connected to your destiny. Even though all the dreams that I pursued, like I said before, some of them didn't come to pass. Some of them came halfway, whatever. But I can truly sit here and say it has been a great adventure for me. You know, regardless of how things worked out, it has been a great adventure for me. And it has been a great adventure for a lot of folk that was involved, um, as I was talking about yesterday. But... I needed to bring this topic up today. And the topic for the show today is don't be ashamed of your yesterday. And you might say, okay, why am I talking about that? No, first of all, let me get this out the way. Um, This show has been on since I think it's August 13th this year. And I just got an email today that now you can hear the podcast on Alexa, Amazon Alexa. So that's kind of like, what is it, Siri? I think for um, iPhones, 
Um, yeah, if you just say Spreaker, let me hear Chronicles of Living podcast show, bam, I'm on, I'm on. So, and for those who are just tuning in, I just got accepted to iHeartRadio, what, maybe a couple weeks ago. You could catch me on iTunes. You could catch um, the show on TuneIn. You could catch it on, what is it, uh, Stitcher, a few other platforms as, as well, too. And um, I'm just grateful to God that he has blessed me with so many gifts and talents. And I'm, I'm more grateful that he blessed me with the ambition and the tenacity to go after each and every last one of them, no matter what the result is and get back up and keep trying until, um, it, it, it lands, you know, and I can truly say that the reason why I'm talking about this, don't be ashamed of your yesterday is because if you listen to the other, uh, yesterday, well, not, not yesterday, I think Monday's show, um, I was talking about one of the people that was a part of one of, uh, the projects that I worked on and tripping. Anyway, I'm not giving that no energy, but, um, we all have either, either did things that we regretted in our past. We've all, you know, failed, get, you know, had to get back up. We all, you know, I, for me right now, since I'm, I'm coming into who I am and I'm embracing all of me, Um, I can truly say that I have no shame, you know, no more, but I was there. I was at that point where, you know, because of different things, my highs in life, you know, I didn't want people to know my lows in life, you know, and you know, when you don't want people to know your lows in life and you hold things in that keeps you in bondage. It really does. And it can, it can really make you sick. It can stress you out. It can make you depressed. I've never, thank God, I've never been depressed or anything like that. But, you know, until you can walk in the trueness of who you truly are, you will never be free. You will ne- I'm here to tell you, you will never be free. So this is why I'm using this platform. You know, I'm freeing myself with every show. If you listen back, and I'm sure that some of the people that I sent the invites to today, if they start listening to some of my shows, they're going to be like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But this show is not about me. This show is about you. This show is about, you know, me encouraging you to start learning who you are, learning what God has for you, dusting off your dreams, dusting off your visions, you know, um, going after it wholeheartedly and not going after it halfway. It's some people out here that they go after it just enough, just enough to make it. Nah, you know, everybody that knows me, they know I'm a risk taker. I put it all on the line. So it's plenty of times that I had a lot and then I invested and I lost it all. And I, and you know, so, and through that, of course comes bad credit and, and debt and stuff like that. And then you got to work that out, but yet you still got these dreams and these visions in you. So, okay. Now comes the, you know, chasing the money and, you know, just, just trying to live the status quo. And I'm here to tell you no matter what your background is, you know, whether you've been locked up, whether you've been a drug abuser, or whether you've been a, a drug seller, you've been molested, all of this stuff, all of this stuff. Trust me when I say, and y'all know I say this all the time, it's not about you. It's not about us. We go through things for others. We go through things to share with others. You know what I mean? Um, and what I mean by that is like life is really not about money and status. It's about the wisdom and the knowledge that you gain through your journey in life and how you share it while doing your purpose in life. And right now, this is a prime example. I'm sharing with you the wisdom and the knowledge that I've gained throughout my journey, all of my hiccups, all of my ups, my downs. And, and I know that People can relate to them. I'm sure it's one show that you'd be like, oh, my God, that is me. Oh, yeah, that happened to me, too. You know, and and things of that nature. And that's this is why I share. You know what I mean? There are people, if you turn around and you start using the things, the very things that you are ashamed of, 
prime example. You think about, let's say, oh, the person that I had on my show um, when I first started and um, I told y'all like when I when I was thinking about doing the interviews and I and I said I went to interview her, I really wasn't expecting what I was going to interview her about. You know, it was like I you know, she she sent me her bio and I was like, oh wow, okay. And you know, come to find out she was molested from the age of eight to thirteen by her um I say her step uncle. Somebody said, what is the step uncle? Well, the uncle that was married to the aunt. Anyway, um, you know, her doing that show, that was her first time coming out publicly. All of the Facebook friends and Instagram friends, they didn't know that part about her. And after the interview, she she thanked me and was just like, wow, you know, she felt so free. And since then, she has, I mean, I've been, you know, checking her out, Facebook page. She's doing big things. She's going out and she's speaking to the youth about it and helping other people deal with that pain. And this is what I'm saying about you can't be ashamed because see, when you were ashamed of your yesterday, how are you going to get to your tomorrow? You know, how you, you stop in your future to be a good just a good thing. We are all here to experience good things and to learn and to grow, to learn and grow as we go. As I always say, that's what life is about. So you can't look at what you did yesterday and carry it into your tomorrow and carry it into your future because it's just gonna like I had that other show. Stop rewinding the tape. You know what I mean? It you're never gonna see what your life can truly be, and that's the bottom line. And y'all know when I talk to y'all, I'm talking to myself too. You know, I I talk about these topics because there are things I'm still you know learning about myself as well. So it's not just me giving it to you for you. I'm I'm giving it to me too. You know what I mean? I, I'm not above none of these topics that I talk about. I'm still growing as I talk to you. And it's like, you know, just like I, I shared with y'all, um, um, my experience, like anything that you've been through that you think is bad, if you really, really analyze it, I'm not going to say that it was good while you was, you know, maybe incarcerated or while you was being abused or anything like that. But when you come out of it and you, you decide that enough is enough and you decide that you want to love yourself more than that situation, even if you are in a position that you can't really get out right now, you can still love yourself in that situation. You can still, you know, learn who you are and you can still do things. There are people that you, you think about somebody like Oprah Winfrey, Maya Angelou, Joyce Myers, if you even know any of those people, all of them were abused and molested when they were young. But look how much they're affecting the world with positive, positive thoughts, positive words, you know, positive shows. And they have helped countless people because of their shame because of their pain. And so that's what I'm saying to you, whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, you need to sit down and y'all know I'm about my homework. Y'all know I'm about getting out the books and writing it down. You need to sit down and, and think to yourself, how can I turn this situation or whatever it is that I'm feeling so much pain from or so much shame from, how can I turn this around and utilize it for the good? Cause you can you can, you know, just like, you know, when I'm like, I was telling you before about one of my exes and how he, um, came out, came out of jail and wrote a book and how, you know, you never know who that book can help out. It can probably stop another kid in the street, um, from giving up what it is that they're good at for the streets. You know, it's, it's just so many different things that we can do with our life. If we decide that, okay, 
I'm not going to look at this situation as a bad thing or I'm not going to keep remembering that situation as a bad thing. What can I do? What can I do? It's just like when that when that person, you know, call themselves, you know, coming against me the other day. And I told you sending emails and trying to post um, things or whatever like that. And how I woke up actually this morning and I thought about that. And I was like, OK, so how can I turn this situation into a good thing? You know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, everybody has debt. Everybody I'm not going to say everybody. We got some folk out there that don't handle that. They got A1 credit. Kudos to you. Kudos to you. But I've had A1 credit at some points in my life. And then I've had bad credit in some points in my life. The good thing is I do know how to fix my credit whenever I want to. That is, that's the good thing. But that all comes from, you know, when I was telling you about how people pass judgment on my life so many times, time and time again, because I've always moved around. I've always had different jobs. I've always, you know what I mean? Just the whole thing. I guess the ongoing joke is, okay, as soon as somebody see me, where you live at now? That's the ongoing joke. Yeah. And I take that and I eat that and I own that because guess what? At the end of the day, I have had a very adventurous life. If I leave here today, I feel like my life was really fulfilled. I have one after a lot of different dreams. I have lived different places. I've met so many different people. I've experienced different jobs, different ways of doing things. And from me having all of those different jobs and living all those different places, like I said before, I was able to help. I'm still able to help a lot of folk, you know, and that's in different, different, different situations. You know what I mean? If I would have never fostered a parent, Um, the kids that I was telling you about before, sorry, you got to go listen to the other shows. (laughs) You don't know what I'm talking about, but those who know me know that I was a foster parent for a while, but that experience opened my eyes up to why, you know, some grownups grow up to be the way they are, because especially if they was in the system, um, it's like the system really, I mean, there are, I'm sure some good case workers out there. I just wind up having to have one that just didn't give up. Um, y'all know I try to keep it PG, but, um, and I felt bad for those kids, but I did what I had to do for them while I had them. You know what I'm saying? And in that short time, that three months time, it made a difference. I had three boys at one time and it made a difference in one. So if I get, And it might make a difference in in the other ones. I don't know. But it's just that the feedback that I got from the teachers at that time, I made the difference in the middle one in the the 11th year old. But then my I got um, my daughter was telling me that the oldest one uh, hit up on Instagram and asked about me. And he's older now. This is like maybe like four or five years ago. And that's the one that I had to drop off. But he asked about me because he probably thought about the things that I was teaching him. You know what I'm saying? And in that time that I was doing foster caring, I really just like gave up everything. I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't pursuing my dreams. I wasn't making no money. You ain't really making no money like that off of foster uh, parent. And if people think that, no, unless you're going to have a ton of kids. But um, that wasn't what I was doing it for. That was just some a point in my life that I just, I really, it, God was tugging at my heart to do it. And I did it. And so I experienced that and I learned from that. And so now that made my heart even more compassionate. You know what I'm saying? But during that time, you know, I still had people who talking about me, even though I was doing service, you know, for others, I was doing a good thing. And, you know, people, you got to understand this. People are going to always talk. You look at somebody like, I say Steve Harvey. I don't really watch the news. Y'all know if y'all been listening to me, I don't do TV really. I don't do news and stuff. I might watch movie here and there, whatever. But um, I could remember having a conversation with my mom about something that I guess one of Steve Harvey ex-wives or whatever was bashing them and stuff like that. And I had to stop her. I was like, well, but you don't really know. But 
that's not right. Yeah, because the media is feeding it to us in that way. This man, you know, got a show on. He got a TV show. He doing what? Uh, the Family Feud, radio show. He got a lot of stuff going on, movies, books, and all of this stuff. And I'm here to say, and I know for myself that sometimes when you're doing good, I'm not saying, I don't know. I don't know what happened in their relationship, but I just need y'all, like I said, I always try to show y'all the other side of the fence. Sometimes when people are doing good and they're shining their light, people want it. other people that's not doing good or that's just, you know, miserable, they want to dim it. And then if you're, the more you're in the spotlight, the more judgment you're going to get because nobody knows what truly happened. Nobody knows what truly happened. Like I said, I've had a ton of lies told on me. I've, I, Sometimes some of the stuff that came back to me, I'd be like just laughing like, really? Wow. Okay. You know, but you can't, if you know who you are, then that stuff don't bother you. You, you know what I mean? Once you get to that point, I remember earlier on it did, you know what I'm saying? I did. I used to worry about what other people thought about me. My life wasn't my own. When you worry about what everybody else thinks about you, your life is not your own. You are not free. You, yeah, you free out here in this world to walk around and all of that, but you truly, and that is the worst type of, um, I'm not going to say slavery, but I guess I can say slavery because you're a slave to yourself. You're a slave to people. You're a slave to everybody else's thoughts about you. The bottom line is this. Who pay your bills? And if the person that's talking greasy about you or the person that's not treating you right, whatever is paying your bills, then guess what? You need to find another way, boo-boo. You need to get out of that situation. And I'm not saying it to you in, in a disrespectful way. Like, yeah, you might think you can't, but you can. You could do anything that you want to do. Trust me when I say there have been many situations and people that have been listening to this podcast show they know there have been many situations I was in and I didn't, I never looked at it like, Oh God, I'm stuck. Nope. Nope. I might have, I might have to just do a little different type of game plan from the last time or think it out a little bit more, but you can get out of any situation that you want to get out of. When you decide that you love yourself more, and I'm going to keep saying that, when you decide that you love yourself more, everything else around you, it doesn't even matter. It's like I had to get away. You know, sometimes you got to get away from the noise. And when I say the noise, you got to get away. You got to shut it down. Rather be family, friends, or whatever. You got to just shut it down and get somewhere. And if you... You know, you got a whole lot of kids in the place or whatever. And when I say shut it down, I mean, get your me time, get your hour, get your, you, even if it's 15 minutes, get your me time and shut it down, shut it out, shut everybody out for a minute so you can hear your own thoughts. And if your own thoughts is not good, then maybe you need to turn on some affirmation, go to YouTube and listen to some affirmation music, some affirmation or some meditation music or whatever. Y'all know I'm big on the meditation, you know what I mean? And the affirmations, you need to start talking to yourself. You need to record yourself telling you how much of a bomb you are. You need to record yourself telling yourself that you are enough. You need to record yourself telling yourself that you can do it and listen to that Every day, you got a cell phone, you can record yourself. That's something that you can do. You can videotape yourself saying that to yourself and play that videotape back, play that audio back. Every time somebody is trying to fill your spirit up and make you feel shameful about yourself, then maybe you need to, you need, that's when you need to press rewind. That's when you need to press rewind. Y'all know I'm big on looking in that mirror every morning when you get up and tell yourself and speak, speak blessings in your life and speak um, prosperity to yourself. Speak success to yourself and tell yourself you are enough. You are confident. You could do it. You are successful until you believe it, until you believe it. That's what we got to do. That's the only way you, you get through life because life is a mother. And it will tear you down if you let it. People will tear you down if you let it, if you let them. And life will tear you down if you let it. 
It's just like I said, you know, when I was at my lowest moment, you know, and I had to go to that shelter for that month, it was so many things that happened within that short amount of time, how I was able to help people in that shelter. Like I was just thinking this morning, like I gotta, I gotta uh, reach out to one of the, one of the couples was a Mexican couple. And, um, the, I think the day that I was leaving or yeah, I think I was leaving the next day or whatever. I had found me a place and I was leaving the next day. And, um, I saw her walking in the hall and she was like, you could tell she's about to bust out crying. And I pulled her to the side. I'm like, what's going on? You know, what's going on? And she was saying how her heart was, you know, really tight and, and all of this stuff. I was like, uh-uh, we gotta go to the hospital. Now here was, I think it might've been like 10 o'clock at night or whatever. And um, I'm like, we gotta go to the hospital. And so her husband was telling me she didn't want to go because they medical insurance, they didn't have insurance or whatever. And um, and then her her I think visa or you know whatever wasn't up to date. So you all, everybody know. I'm sorry with Trump in order. I mean, and um, with Trump in office with the whole visa thing and the whole green card thing she was scared to go to the hospital so she about to have a heart attack or something just to not go to the hospital so I just stayed there and talked her in to going to the hospital and I drove her to the hospital and I was like I'm going to stay with you um the husband had to they got four kids so the husband had to stay with kids and um I prayed with her in the car before we went in the doors and I told her I said you calm down. I said, because don't worry about nothing. I said, and I, you know, and I told her what to say, being as though, and this is what I'm saying. All these different jobs help me out because <laughs> I know about insurance. So, <laughs> so she got in and do y'all know when we walked in that place, she saw somebody she knew and they said they had been there for two hours. Do you know, we walked straight in. They saw her ASAP. Yeah. We might've been sitting there till 5 a.m. in the morning, but the bottom line is we had a chance to talk. Um, she she was kind of overweight. She's overweight. And she talked to me about, she opened up to me about her weight. And I tried to encourage her about eating right and all of this. And when we got back, you know, we was, you know, I helped her get a plan together. But this is what I'm saying. You can be at your lowest moment. And you think you at your lowest moment. And God will turn that situation around and, and make it a good thing. I think about the people that I help get into apartments. I mean, I help, you know, find apartments that was there for a couple of months, you know. And, yeah, they was all like, what? You out already? Listen, this is what I do. I move. <laughs> but the bottom line is this. And even with the director asking me to come back and, and do life skill classes, you know what I'm saying? And that stirred my spirit up because it was like, wow, I didn't think about it like that. Like, you know, that I was able to help people. That's something, that's a gift that God gave me and I don't take for granted. So every time somebody decides that they want to share their story with me and they down or I see their face not looking good, I will stop. I don't care in the middle of the street. I will stop. There's plenty of times I've stopped strangers and, and just, you know, put my arm around them and say, you know, what's going on? What's wrong? You know, and then have a whole full hour conversation. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a talker. Everybody that knows me, I'm a talker, but I'm, I'm embracing that. And I realize that is my gift. That is my gift to share with the world, rather it be me motivating somebody, me, you know, um, encouraging somebody. This is my gift and I'm owning it and I'm, I'm going with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worrying about what everybody else thinks anymore or what everybody else says. And, and that's my thing that if, if everything would have worked out perfectly in my life, the way I thought and I tried to plan it out, understand this, I probably wouldn't be talking to y'all right now. <laughs> I'll be a billionaire somewhere, chilling, sipping on a uh, mimosa or, you know, a margarita or something on some, some Caribbean beach or whatever. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. Your journey is on purpose. Whatever you're going through is as bad as it might be, as bad as it might seem, 
when you stop and you take a deep breath and you breathe and you start turning that negative energy into positive and you start writing down your natural talents and your natural gifts what do people ask of me what even if people are using you like i said i've had a lot of people use me you know but they think they was using me but they really wasn't because everything that i do or everything that i did did for people was from my heart so i really wasn't expecting nothing back you know what i mean but even in situations like that if you feel like People are taking you for granted or they're using you for whatever reason it is. Whatever they're using you for, whatever they're taking you for granted for, that might be your gift. That might be the very thing that God gave you to share with the world. Like I said, you know, people used to use me for my connections. And that's really consulting. You know what I'm saying? I was consulting Without realizing I was consulting, you got people getting paid big bucks consulting and, and setting up people's businesses and, and all this stuff. And yes, I have done it. You know, I have I've, I've done consulting. You know what I mean? I still do it here and there. But my thing is, at the times that I did it for certain people and I wasn't charging them, you know, and the connections that I put together to this day, they are still making money and I ain't make a dime from it. You know? So basically what they did, they exposed to me one of my strengths. While they thought they was using me getting over or whatever like that, they exposed my strength. And that's how you got to look at life. You know what I mean? People can make you feel ashamed of, a, of your very gift. And that's a crazy thing. But we all have to get to that point and start realizing that it's not about money it's not about status it's not about all of that when you really look at life it's not about all of that you know yes of course having a bunch of money makes life easier of course status makes it easier but you can have all the money in the world you can have the biggest status in the world and be miserable as hell just look at Hollywood that's all you got to do a lot of people want to be like a lot of people in Hollywood, but a lot of people in Hollywood and celebrities are miserable. A lot of people that's rich probably would trade spaces with you if you have a happy life and if you embrace and you learn how to be happy right where you are right now. One thing about me is in my situations, I've always made it fun because I had my son with me. You know, when my electric or my gas got cut off, I told you I videotaped it. I made, you know, I made fun with it. You know what I'm saying? I made a tutorial. This is how you survive with no water on. This is how, you know, you got to learn how to turn stuff around. And first you got to embrace it. That's one. You got to own it. That's two. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to analyze it. That's three. Because a lot of us, we will get in a situation and then we will say we're in this situation because of this person, that person, or because this, that, and the other happened instead of saying, and, and trust me, a lot of things, sometimes a lot of times it is out of your control. Sometimes it is out of your control, but a lot of times it's you continuing to do the same thing with the same people that get you jammed up. So until you start pointing a finger and you start owning then, you know, <laughs> you're going to keep repeating the cycle. You really are, you know. So I'm just, you know, I'm going to start wrapping things up. But I really wanted to um, just share with y'all, like, you can't, you know. You, you got to, like, the bullies that's bullying you, you got to stop allowing that to happen you got to take your power back when you stop paying attention to people that's always you know downgrading you or you know making you feel bad about yourself when you get away from them people I don't care family friend whatever you know what I mean some people think that just because they your family or they your close friend or you live with them that you got to deal with it no you don't no you don't you got to learn how to Stop answering 
to what it is you don't want in your life. I know I wanted to say it in a different way, but basically that's it. Stop answering what you don't want. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop having the same arguments with people. Stop doing that. It's the same argument. Why? You're not going to win. Like, stop arguing. How about that? Stop arguing. <laughs> you know, I, I tell my kids, you know, my son and my daughter, I tell them that all the time. Like, if you have these issues and you have these problems, then you need to attack it in a different way and see what happens. Just see what happens, you know? Just see what happens. That's all I'm saying. I'm not an argumentative person. And I'm not for the argument. So as soon as somebody come at my neck with some drama, I'm out. I'm just not doing it. I'm not. You're not going to steal my joy. You're not going to mess up my day. You're not going to do it. You will be arguing with your damn self. Okay? I'm just not for it. I'm not. I just don't want no negative energy around me. You know, don't get me wrong. Y'all already know if, if y'all listen to other podcasts, y'all know. I told y'all, you know, I grew up in the streets. Not in the streets, but I grew up in, in the hood. So, yeah, I've had my shares of fights and all of that type of stuff. But the bottom line is this. I've always tried to keep myself occupied in a positive way. Anybody that knows me knows that's what I'm about. I'm about trying new things and sharing information and promoting people and you know, just encouraging people and all of that stuff. But you got to let it go. You got to let it go. So I'm not going to keep on going on and on. But I just want to say to y'all, like, when you start looking at your accomplishments through the shame or through the things that you, you feel shameful about, you got some accomplishments. I'm sure you do. When you start focusing on the positive and focusing on that, the fact that, okay, I might be in this situation at this time, but you are not your situation. That's one you got to get past. But I might be right here right now at this time in my life. But if I look back at the things that I accomplished in my life, you know, how do I feel about myself? You know, like. I had the I had the record label. I actually do have vinyl records and tape cassettes and CDs and posters and all that to show for that. That that was an accomplishment. You know, I used to sew. I did give it up, but guess what? I still got pictures to show for it and I was able to use all of those gifts to help kids at the Boys and Girls Club. Y'all know I said I always wanted my community center and I took the job at the Boys and Girls Club and it wasn't paying jack, but I took it to learn. You know what I mean? And other people probably was judging like, oh, you're not making that much money. But it's not about the money. It's about the experience. Sometimes you got to step back just to get a certain experience so that you could become a better person. You know? I learned. I'm not chasing the money no more. I'm happy where I'm at. I, I love my position. I love what I'm doing. And um, I'm about to go in the 40-minute mark, and y'all know I try to cut it off. But I'm here to say embrace, embrace, embrace yourself. Stop trying to be in the spotlight and connect to your light. Stop trying to follow the status quo and just learn who you are. Stop. Come back. Breathe. You know, a lot of people, you know, do the same thing every day. There is more to life. There is. Don't leave this earth incomplete. Do not leave this world incomplete. There's a lot of people that leave incomplete. Just like Les Brown said, is a shoot, the cemetery is a, a minefield. He might have said it in a different way, but it's is a is a lot of lot of money in that cemetery because there's a lot of people that died with dreams and visions. A lot that could have been who knows, who knows how much they could have added to this world. So with that being said, um, definitely, definitely, definitely catch me on iHeartRadio. If if you got a, a Amazon Alexa, test it out. I'm excited about that. Say Spreaker. Let me hear Chronicles of Living podcast show. Bam. There it is. 
So this is all a part of it, yo. I'm I'm following my dreams no matter what. And um, hey, I'm doing a damn thing. And I'm not going to stop this time. I always start, stop, but I'm not stopping this time. I'm here for y'all guys. And I love all of y'all. Peace. And um, I'll talk to y'all Sunday, 7 p.m. Um, Eastern time. See y'all then. It's Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from the world, saving you from yourself. Get out your own way. Peace. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.